Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome to part 5 of Dark Souls on the Xbox One X. We haven't technically moved, but I have been uh, running around leveling up in this area off camera. We are now on level 25 over on the left hand side there. And I've been putting all the points into vitality, endurance and dexterity. It would have been strength had I gone a slightly stronger build, but I've gone... With a lighter build, so dexterity is the better option. So as you can see, dexterity I've got 20, and we'll try and get vitality and endurance to join it. So that's all I'll be doing off camera. I haven't, haven't done anything that I hadn't done on camera previously. I've just been running around this same area and getting the old points. Didn't get a shot off, mate. So we'll clear this area out, and then we will... Head towards the knight that I was having trouble killing. Let's see how we got on. I haven't tried fighting him again, so it'll be interesting to see how we go. Oh, is he? Might as well get all the points, people! What do points make? Level ups, that's right. What? I think not, my friend. Not having any of that nonsense on my watch. Come on. Big mistake, my friend. Big mistake. Okay. <clears throat> also, you'll notice on my back I have arrows. I discovered that you can... Well, I didn't discover, actually. Somebody told me, go back to the guy at the shop and he will sell them to you. So, it weren't that expensive either. I think it was 10, 10 souls an arrow or something. So, something like that. So, I've got 50 of the blighters. The one thing I did get off camera, actually, which I hadn't before, because I ran through to the area that we'd done in a previous part, and there was a body dangling over the edge of our balcony, and I could never figure out how to get down to it, and realised it was that simple. So I did manage to get that. I've decided that I now take out blighters such as these in a whole new way. It's a whole new way for you and me. You're welcome. Oh, what? That's no good. He's usually go down in two at the most. He did. Ooh, hello. What? Oh, my lord, Steve. What the hell? God's sake. And yeah, the feeling that was going to happen. Oh, pretty sure that was a bollock shot, people. In the go, lads. In the go, lads. It's you and me, my friend. And your friend on the right. Let's have a Stevie sandwich. I don't know how I managed to hit him first, but anyway. They did. Okay. So far, so good. Come on, friend. Come fight me. Blimey, he's been a bit clever with his shield. Oh, yeah, that's better. Sneaky, sneaky round the corner here. Oh, easy. 
<laughs> Gets a bit angry, this one. Ew. Thank you. Silky. See, I feel uber at this point. This knight's just going to make me look stupid, isn't he? But anyway, never mind. Hello, boys. And girls, maybe. Can't tell from your attire what you are. Oh, what? That was a bit of a lucky throw, weren't it, mate? Ah, it's almost annoying, people. Almost annoying. A tiny bit of health you're taking off, mate. I don't think, I'm not sure there's anyone left up here, actually. I think we killed them, didn't we? But we did. <clears throat> don't know why I wanted to look around that corner, but I did. Okay. To be fair, um, we don't really need to fight this knight, but he's kind of a test as to how good we're getting, I suppose. Ooh, easy, 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 easy there, big fella. Calm yourself. Well, that was all a bit, uh, not very ambitious on his part. Go on then, now you're up there. Here he comes. Hello, my friend! Woo! Alright, so the big badger we want to be fighting is down here, and... At the top of it, there is a shiny that we want. And possibly another path, but I think it might just be a shiny. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> one perfectly reasonable option for me that was given to me by one of you fine people is to run him back here, run up the ladder, and try and turf bombs on him, and do drop attacks on him and then run back up, sort of thing majibidi. So... That's one option. We'll see how we go with that. Not a huge problem if we die, because I can always edit it out. <laughs> um, not overly sure if you can sneak you up and get a, a back attack in. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't really work, did it? God, he's close. I can hear him. Question is... Where's he going to go? What the hell's he got? Oh, he's there. Well, I could dive attack him, but... He knows how to keep himself under there, doesn't he? <laughs> it's quite a lot of firebombs though, isn't it, to take him down. I think they've done that on purpose. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, 
Oh, he's trying to get me before I got the ladder. Quick. Oh, you little fecker. Ooh. No, Steve. <laughs> get your healing back on. Oh, he didn't like that. Bloody hellfire. That doesn't fill up much now, does it? <clears throat> if he's got a healing potion, I'm going to be screwed, aren't I? Not overly sure that I made that much of a... That's my last of my bombs, I think. <laughs> ah! He's so bloody quick, it's annoying. Too slow, freak. The hell is he? Ah, oh, there he is. He's taken quite a lot to go down, though, isn't he? Ah, oh, I missed it. Son of a bitch. Doesn't seem to chase me very fast. So I also could try his arrows, but I don't think they'll have much of an impact on him, to be fair. That's typical, isn't it? Got aim down. Again, I get the feeling that's been done on purpose. <laughs> How can I not aim down the way? For goodness sake. What nonsense that is. That's going to take about 50 arrows to take him down, isn't it? Ooh, back, back, back. How is that his shield? Seriously. Nice. Here we go. Nice work, Stevie boy. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, they were a bit shiny. Still got five flasks left. Three thousand shiny stars. Thank you. Let's have a look at what that was all about then that it just gave me. A titanite chunk. Plus 14 reinforce standard weapon. Plus four reinforce crystal. All right, bloody hell. I didn't even... I've, I've been picking up those titanite shards. I didn't realise what they were for. I assume you have to pick a weapon you're going to stick with, though. Plus 14 reinforced standard weapon. Plus 4 reinforced crystal slash lightning, lightning weapon. Nice. Where's the sword, please? Hollow soldier shield. Bloody 3.5 in weight, though, isn't it? <clears throat> Good protection on it, like. Straight sword hilt. No, it's not that. Black knight sword. There it is. <clears throat> Eight in weight. Yeah, as if I'm carrying that about. That's outrageous. <clears throat> I might try it at some point, though. 
It's, it's only any use to if you're going to go heavy night or something, I assume. Someone might be able to tell me otherwise. So, let me get this straight, people. Let me get this straight. Can I use that? No. Why can't I use it? Uh, can only use it at a fire, maybe? Okay, what? Well, it can't be used in there. Well, it must, it must only be able to use it at a fire or something. Well, I'm pretty chuffed with that, people. First attempt. Used a lot of stuff to kill him right enough. I wish I'd known the bows, the, the arrows could do that from the, the back before I wasted all my bombs, but never mind. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to get us possibly into there, but uh, we'll see. And let's be careful, Stephen. We've no idea what's down here. Well, there's a shiny for a start off. Blue tear stone ring. Nice. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, see, I saw, I saw this from somewhere else up there, somewhere. So, I'm going to assume that that night... Oh, hello. Oh, I think I've been this way, actually. I did creep down. I, I ended up running up here on one of my off-camera ones. I dropped down to a ledge, I think it was. Yeah, I did. I dropped down from somewhere. I'm sure I did. And ended up here. <clears throat> anyway. He didn't spot me. I crept up around him. So the only place we've got left to go that I'm familiar with is up these stairs. And then we need to traverse the light. Which may well be a boss fight or something. But let's have a look at our... New ring first. Oh, hello. We can put another one on as well, I think. Boost defense while HP is low. Nice. Let's have a bit of that action then. It's going to give us nothing but good. <clears throat> Wonder what status our right hand spear is in. I have repaired it once. It's another thing I discovered off camera was the repair the repair kit, if you like, that the guy sells you to repair your right hand. Anything you've got equipped on the right hand will be repaired by it. So it's at 96. So this is the second from the right stat. It's on 96. Wear and tear, as it were. When it, gets, it got down to about 40 and it gave me a warning. And as it's my primary weapon... I may well. So I think, I think, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to camp. I'm going to run back just in this direction, take out just these guys. And make my way up to traverse the light. Because, actually saying that, I think the next level up's about 4,000 or something. But rather than lose the point, well mind you, if we camp... Just get up to 4,000 with these guys here. Oh, easy. Nearly fell off the bloody ledge. <clears throat> I want to see if I can use that item as well that seems to be in the... Uh... 
Yeah, how do you use these blooming things here? Yeah. Yeah, so we need another for 600, maybe, something like that, just to level up. Still human. We're only human, born to make mistakes. It's bugging me now why I can't use that flipping item. I thought maybe you could go onto the weapon and do it, but there doesn't seem to be anything there either. Uh, question for another day, I think. Throwing knives as well, I forgot I had those. Stick a bit of that action on, I think. Now that we've used up our bombs, they'll come in handy for something. Ah, oh, that menu again. Bloody lethal, that thing. What? Oh, Steven. Headshot. On the heat. On the heat. Oh. Oh, that was in his face, people. In his face. God damn it. Got hit and I just wasted an arrow. Still not found a way into some of these places though, have I? Surprised we never got a key off of that night, Badger. Come on, big fella. Ready? You want me to come all the way in? Ah. Uh. Seems to be glowing again, that chest, but... It has been got!
Hey! Oh, hello. Just check that none of them have got any drops on them. Sometimes come up and they're shinies. Now that should be enough to level up. <clears throat> and then we can crack over. Trust me, one level up to me is like a million gazillion level ups to normal people. Convinced there's a boss through that. Traverse the light thing as well. Right, vitality or endurance? Well, the endurance is lagging behind. I'm thinking you're stinking. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just take a health up again. It's pretty particularly useful in a big fight. It's, it's a bit annoying that the stamina only goes up by two at a time. You still feel like you run out of stamina a fair bit. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go for the vitality, I think. Pick up on the endurance after. Pretty much same everywhere else on it, isn't it? Also, I'm quite keen to, to get an attunement slot as well. Which I'm assuming allows me to have magic. Parameter determining number of attunement slots. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we'll do that for now. I'm going to do is just fight these guys here and pop to the shop. Oh, that took him down in a one, and that was a light attack. Oh, nice. Hey. Silky! Silky Steve, that's why it's my name, people. <laughs> Don't lift your shields up, boys. Right. I'm trying to remember how much the weapon repair thingy my jobber was. Go oh, easy. I was trying to home in and in there. And we can actually get a few easy points down here as well. Hey, little ones. What? How did it not hit him? Get him over. He should get two at once. Always when I'm on camera, these things don't work. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not making it up. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I'm very protective of this weapon because trying to go back to the sword and stuff after I'm so used to having the extra reach on this thing is very difficult. I tried it when it gave me the warning last time off camera. Oh, there you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then Pretty go much. Ahead. Don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, there you go. Repair powder. And it costs 500 souls. We've got 700, so that seemed reasonable. The only th other thing I would have been tempted to buy is some arrows, but we could still get a couple hundred of those, so... A uh, couple of hundred of those. <laughs> 20 of those, I should say. So we'll have one of those, and we shall have twenty-five 
23 of those. Keeps us stocked up a bit. Oh, uh, uh, that's interesting. Didn't know there was a. I didn't notice those wooden arrow ones before for some reason. Standard arrows are pretty. They've got 10 more damage on them. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Pleasure. So, just before we go up, I think we'll have a. Uh, Actually, I think we'll hang on to that. It's not asking us to repair the weapon. Yeah, it does seem to do a full repair, so no point in wasting it too early. I assume things like that are saved when you do them, the purchases and stuff. They must be, yeah. Items seem to stay with you, don't you? It's only the souls you lose. And your hollow, or hollow, or hollowing. Oh god. Right. I don't want to waste my arrows on these guys as it happens. I think I might just take the damage for it. Give over, you big fruitcake. Oh, nearly. That went rather well, didn't it, eh? It's silky Steven. This guy's doing my nutting. I, every time off camera I go to that guy, I, I just throw my arm in like that and he's just dead. <laughs> every time on camera, absolutely destroys me for no apparent reason. Who's first? Oh, two for the price of one. Really? I can live with that, people. I can live with that. As long as I don't fall off of it. So, we've not used a health flask as yet. We will now. Quite excited about traversing the light, even though I might die. Really? Ah! Good, good, good. Where are you, big man? Here we go. I am a little bit curious as to whether this dude comes back. Oh no, he doesn't, does he? Once you've killed him, he's dead. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. If you take them down, they don't come back. Right, time for some new ground people.
Right, well we know this is locked, or it was, yeah. What is before us if we traverse this light? <sighs> well, here goes nothing. I can hear something walking around through there. Here we go. Oh, hello. That doesn't look too good, does it? What's behind me? Traverse the light again. This is a boss fight if ever a bloody saw one. Holy fuckaroo. What the feck was that? That was shyster. Jesus Christ, I'm glad I spotted that. What the hell? I'm gonna die here because I can't heal. Oh, I didn't know you could come up here. Shit, fuck. Knocked me off the tower. Well, that went well. that many but thank you well it does seem to be suggesting drop attacks here doesn't it so no idea how well this is going to go but let's see how we do problem is you can take a shed load of health off you while you're on the ladder Plan, bad plan, bad plan. Fucking hell, it took a lot of health off him though. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Ah, no. sake, I can't move. Better top up because this guy's a bloody menace, is what he is. Uh, 
I don't know what the best thing to do is. Once I hit him and drop in front of him, I'm just trying to get around here and back up, but it only takes two hits to get all my bloody health down. Run! Chef Dett! Oh, fucking hellfire. Right, that's you two done. I suppose the other option is to not rely on just the the drop attack, but I can't get anything on him when he's I'm in front of him. My speed is nowhere high enough. My stamina runs out too quick. Oh, you fecker. <laughs> Have it! <laughs> oh, hello. It's a shame that I lost all my souls fighting him the... Sorry, on my way back to him that time around. Nice. Uh... <laughs> oh, that felt so good, people. So basically, it was uh, roll through his legs. Was the answer to the conundrum. Uh, so that was basically just so I couldn't see what was going on in it. So what I'm going to do is just have a little look up here, make sure there was nothing else. Well, we got through all of that with five flasks intact and a full bar, pretty much. Over to the other side it is then. Possibly a bonfire, maybe. We might have enough for an upgrade. I'll tell you what, that vitality is bloody... I'm glad I got that extra vitality though. Makes a hell of a difference. Could do with some flasks that build up the health a bit more though.
Hello? We get... Come on now. Oh hello, there's something behind here. Yeah, I don't like the look of this at all, people. Doesn't look like it's going to give me a friendly bonfire, does it, anytime soon? What? Uh, I thought it gave you a bonfire after every boss, but no, apparently not. Why does he look like he's on his own? Is he someone to talk to? Ah, yeah. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, you're a card, you are, aren't you? So what's his purpose, oh. then? Aha! So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have right. a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Sure. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. White sign soapstone? We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> So you can summon him to fight with you, can you? Is that what that's all about? Oh, there's a door there. Oh, there's a shocker, eh? It's locked. Wow, there's an eye opener and no mistake, Mr. Frodo. Uh, that looks oily. Fucking hellfire. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a little bit harsh. Can you not give me a bonfire before I've got to do all this shenanigans? And th this can't be a boss fight, surely. Why has it not killed that guy? Oh, in the head. Of 
question is, can I make it across there or not? Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> well that'll be a no then, wouldn't it, eh? Good grief. All the way back to the last bloody bonfire then. To where we started. How is it not a bonfire? Come on. Somebody tell me. And how do I get past this bloody dragon? Unless he's gone off now, but I doubt it. Ooh, I can hear something growling, something rotten. He's still there, isn't he? Uh, question is, can I get those souls before... Friends online! Well, we've already spoken to him. Well, I've no idea what I'm meant to do here. Because I can't survive the dragon's blah blah. I just want to see if I can get these souls and then I'll be on my way. Uh, well, I've got to assume I'm just not meant to go that way. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I know how to do it, people. Come on, game. Give me a bonfire. You know you wanna. Holy. Oh, hello. Can see one. No. Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought I was kicking the ladder off there for a minute. Right, please, Summit, don't jump out at me for God's sake. Don't you jump out on me. Say my name, boy. Walk on by. What? Oh, I've just realised where we are. What kind of crazy shit is that? That's where we were a minute ago. I didn't even notice that ladder up there. <laughs> Shortcuts back, people. I like it. So we could take the vitality up again, or I'm, I so want an achievement slot, but I don't know if I can use it yet. It might be a complete waste of a of a thing. I assume the amount of achievement slots, I, I don't know, it doesn't very specific, but it seems to be what the magics are all about, I assume. 
Was it like a rune or what? All right, let's just uh, get the endurance caught up a bit. Ah, sod it. Let's do the achievement slot and see what happens. Nice! Actually, we may have some in our inventory that we can turn into souls. Yeah, a large soul of the lost undead. Uh, the question is, though, we've got 2,000 souls. I think a big one gives us 500, is it? A small one gives us a little bit less, so it might not be worth using at the minute. Yeah, we need 4,900. We're never going to get that out of those two, are we? Okay. Right, we have a quick way back, people. We're going to go up that ladder and back around to where we came from in the next part. Fantastic place to finish up. I may have edited this just slightly, cut out a couple of the runbacks to the big boss fight. But that, uh, what was that? Was that three attempts or four? Mm, I think it was four. I'll have to count as I'm, <laughs> count as I'm editing it. It has been an honour and a privilege taking down the first proper boss, people. Yes, it has. And I shall see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Bye.